This video will cover the freeform feature. In order to easily demonstrate this feature, a rectangular block was used, but this feature works on virtually any surface. The freeform tool can be found under Insert, Features, then Freeform. Under the first heading called Face Settings, the face to be freeformed can be selected. Under this as well, directions for symmetry can be added in. This allows the user to create freeform features that are symmetrical. This would be next to impossible if trying to do it by hand. Under the next heading called Control Curves, lines can be added which will determine where points can be placed to control the freeform. To add these curves, click Add Curves and then left mouse click on the surface to place them. By pressing the Tab button or selecting the Flip Direction button, the curves can be inserted perpendicular to each other. The option of controlling the shape can be done through points or using control polygons. The results of selecting either one of these options will be seen a little later. The coordinate system for these control curves can either be natural, which creates the grid parallel to each of the sides, or else user defined. If the coordinate system is changed, a window will appear letting you know that you'll lose all modifications to the freeform if you continue. If user defined is selected, the grid can be rotated by moving the manipulator that appears. By selecting Add Points under the Control Points heading, points can be added to the control curves placed earlier. When points are placed on these curves, they will hide if points are added onto another curve. In order to see or modify those points, unselect the Add Points button. If you had selected through points in the heading above, you can now click on a point and a triad will appear. The handles of this triad can be clicked and dragged to distort the surface. There are also arrows at the end of the curves that can be dragged as well to modify the surface. The location of these points also can be specified by entering in values for the different directions of the coordinate system. When all the values are zero, that means the point is in its original location. The other option for changing the surface is by using a control polygon. If this option is selected, points can be moved the same way as before except there are now lines connecting those points. This just provides another way of visualizing how the surface is shaped. The triads located on the points can either be oriented using the global coordinates of the entire part, using a coordinate system based off the direction normal to the surface, or using a coordinate system that is created using a reference line normal to three points on the control curve. If the option for triad follow selection is chosen, anytime you move a point, the triad will be there as opposed to remaining at one location. Within the graphics window, there are text boxes at each surface edge that allows you to select the continuity at that edge. This lets you control how the freeform surface interacts with the edge. The option contact has the surface stop directly on the edge. The option tangent will make the free-formed surface tangent to the edge. The option curvature will maintain the edge boundary with the same curvature as was originally between the two surfaces. The movable option allows the user to move the original boundary but their original tangency between the surfaces will not remain. The movable tangent option allows the boundary to be moved, but it will remain tangent to its original plane. To move the boundary, select either a point or a boundary handle on that edge and drag or use the triad to move it. The final heading called density allows the user to control visual properties. The first option under this heading allows the user to change the transparency of the face that is being formed. Checking the box called Mesh Preview shows a grid over the entire surface to be formed. This can help align points and curves used in the freeform process. The density of the mesh can be adjusted as well, which will increase the number of grid lines on the surface. Checking the box next to Zebra Stripes provides a different way of looking at the contours on the surface. The closer the stripes are, the steeper the contour is at that location. If Curvature Combs is selected, combs showing the curvature at each grid line will be displayed. These can be displayed along both directions of grid lines by selecting the corresponding box. Under Curvature Type, 
Surface can be selected to show the curvature of the surface along the curve normal to that surface. By selecting Curve, only the curvature of the curve of the grid lines will be shown. The scale and density of the combs can be adjusted as well for better visualization. I hope this video has been helpful in showing how to use the freeform feature.